Good evening, everyone, and Merry Christmas, wherever you may be. Happy holidays and everything else. Uh, if uh, you're watching this right as it goes live, this will be Christmas Eve, and we just got access to the Mindcrack pack of the Feed the Beast uh, mod pack last night, and spent a bit of time live streaming, getting some of the basics set up. I thought I'd start by just doing a little bit of a tour of what we did last night. Um, while I wait for some cobblestone to cook into stone for some things that I was planning on working on for today. Uh, so last night did a whole bunch of caving uh, on my side while Hannibal and uh, Spark VGX were both working up here. We got a pulverizer and a powered furnace set up with uh, just have some basic gold conductive pipes that we're using to power these right now. Uh, until we actually get a more permanent home set up for them. And we have a bit of a thumb craft area over here, although the work table seems to have moved. Got our crucible and um, have a mine shaft heading down into the depths. And then we've got a whole pile of the uh, cycordite, so we've got some pretty cool stuff there. More ores and all sorts of stuff. Um, since it's Christmas, all the chests are holiday themed, which is actually kind of cool. And yeah, so there's our one of the research desks. And uh, we managed to transplant a uh, silverleaf tree. Oh, I didn't show the farms in, in here. Let's go look at that real quick. So also with uh, getting the Feed the Beast mod pack for the Mindcrack server, um, we're, it, we decided that it'd be best to start a fresh world. That was the farm down there, by the way. Um, just to make sure that we don't have any issues with block ID conflicts or uh, weird terrain issues with uh, as the terrain generation, world generation changed tremendously. Uh, it's just about night. Um, so yeah, it's this is a whole fresh world. We're right at spawn right now. The uh, world spawn is right here. And we're going to go ahead and build a spawn town in this area. And try to have more of a... Uh, build a lot more stuff together in the community area. And uh, at least get a fairly good size setup going before branching off too much. Probably still branch off into other areas for different projects as well, but uh, we'll wait a little while before that. So just take a quick nap here so that we can have daylight to go explore a little bit. So this is, uh, we're going to turn this into our spawn town. Um, we're having some creeper issues right now, so we'll have to... Uh, patch in some holes, but uh, the this actually happened to be the where I spawned into the world originally. So this is truly the world spawn, and it actually happened to be a pretty nice spot to uh, build out a world, or a spawn town village. So what I thought we would do is, you know, I'm kind of waiting for the wood to finish, or the uh, not the wood, the stone to finish cooking, because uh, I want to start building out some pathways. Um, so the the we'll go over a little bit of the mind pack or the uh, mod pack stuff. The this version of the mod pack adds the red power back in as well as a ton of other item uh, mods. Uh, everything is updated to version 1.4.6, and we've got pages and pages of items, including train craft and Steve's carts and all kinds of cool things. So, stabilized metal. Wow, this is... Wow, I that was just kind of random. <laughs> I just grabbed that. So there's, uh, the amount of stuff that we have is just ridiculous. 
and it's going to take a while to really explore everything. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into a lot of the mods, especially like Railcraft and things like that. It's going to take a while to actually get set up to where we are ready to do that. Um, right now, I th think I want to harvest some wood and start putting together something that actually looks like roads and start uh, breaking out the spawn area into somewhat like plot areas and then we'll also have kind of factory areas and things like that so everybody will have their own spot to build a house where they can keep some things uh, that they need for you know whatever the projects they're working on and then we'll have more of a factory community area where everybody has access to use the use the machines however they need and add machines to it wherever they want as well and so the sickle is from red power and it is amazing for clearing out leaves i mean that that was like three seconds to clear out all those leaves and just really makes them makes harvesting trees a whole lot easier um we do have this great big silver leaf tree that's right in front of our mines our uh, mine shaft area and it kind of hides the ugliness that is the mine shafts at this point so it's going to stay there for now we may see about transplanting that later hopefully get another sapling or two out of it uh, let's get more stone cooking How are we doing we're out of water um, so let's go ahead and get that refilled and working again I want to do that. And I want to do that again. And again. Kind of the repetitive stuff, and eventually we'll all be automated, or the steam engines will go away, or something like that. Um, so we got a little bit of stone now. Might be enough to get started. I wonder if... It's not going to let me put it there. Nope. That would have been nice. Um, what does it take to make these? Iron, a stone gear, and a chest. We will probably do that later. Um, so yeah, let's, let's put some extra stuff away so I have room to use the built-in crafting bench here. Or the portable crafting bench, rather. Don't need that. I should put the bucket back away down here. Um, I do have some Zycorium blocks, and I thought we would do a little bit of decoration around the spawn area as well. We've put some of them up as decorations already, but it doesn't hurt to have a bit more of that. Um, unfortunately, won't have time to do a lot of really cool decoration, but I want here. But we can do a little bit of decoration, make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, what I th was thinking here, and I do have a shovel and an axe. That's all good. Um, with that out of the way. I want some of these. And I think we can make these into stairs. There we go. Balance. So we'll get some stone brick stairs. We'll take some... Let's see, what kind of... I'm going to need... I think I like the birch better than the oak for this, but... I have a lot more oak, so we're gonna we're gonna use oak for the moment. Balance. Grab a bunch of this. And now I think what we'll do is we'll start we'll start using by using kind of uh, kind of this corner here, and we'll start building out a road. And I'm going to put together a little bit of it first, and 
I will be back with you shortly. And I'm back, and joined now by Al Hannibal. He decided to join on the server while he was recording, and he nicely chopped down the huge tree there. Um, so yeah, I've been working on a couple of ideas for the road. I'm not sure... I thought I knew what I wanted when I started it, and turns out I didn't really know quite what I wanted after all. So a couple of options that uh, I'm looking at is gravel with stone brick half slabs using stone brick stairs as a border <laughs> yeah yeah uh, stone brick stairs with something some sort of half slabs in the middle um, nice thing with the half slabs is it means that no monsters are going to be spawning on the roadway which you know that removes spawning area less things that have to actually be lit up directly so a couple of options for the something in the middle just plain wood all the way through Maybe different color, maybe different color stripe in the middle. I don't know. Could work. Stone brick all the way across just seems kind of plain to me. I think I like this design. Um, the whole varying stripes or the two stri yeah. the stone varying. brick in the middle. Varying. That could work. So, anyway. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and we will probably be doing another live stream coming up here before long, probably before we actually get all the roadways, or do much more roadway construction, and uh, you can give us live feedback, or if you have some other suggestions, then by all means leave comments, and we can uh, take a look at some stuff and see what we can come up with for a decent roadway before we get too far. So before you stop recording... I'm not stopping right now anyway. I'm still okay. I'm I still have another chunk of episode to go here. Okay. Well anyways, um I finished the copper transmutation uh, oh, nice. discovery. And then I also just finished magical building blocks. You have been studying ways to combine stone, wood, and metals to create building materials suitable for the crafting of mystical objects and constructs. Nice. Uh, Hannibal and Spark have both been working on Thomcraft a whole bunch and leaving me in the dust on that part of it because unfortunately um, discoveries are you know, each person has their own set of discoveries and they don't just transfer to everyone so everyone has to do their own stuff which is kind of annoying I don't know if there's I can, I can see why they would do that well, well yeah, I mean, it, kind of, it makes sense in a way. It's just annoying for yes. our purposes. Yeah. Um, so I talked a little bit about it before uh, before Hannibal joined and gave him a little bit of an idea. Kind of what I was thinking of as far as our village area goes was, uh, and now you can actually see the hill, hillside because the uh, silverwood tree got cut down. <laughs> um so what I was kind of thinking of is we've got this spawn area here and we'll break uh, ideas to break it up with into uh, building areas for each for everyone with the uh, roadways and then have a kind of a common factory uh, building area that has machines that everybody can use. And I think what will probably happen is it will occupy the place where this hillside is right now. Uh, either we'll build up around it or maybe it'll get flattened down to the ground and we'll just build straight, uh, build a factory around that spot. I don't know. That's kind of the rough idea anyway. I haven't really explored too much around here yet. Why are there floating? Oh, that must be creeper. That must um, have been... Yeah. <laughs> There's just floating trees. Yeah. You have created a simple but strong fabric from wool and splitter silk. You are sure you can infuse it with magic somehow to create a wonderful crafting component. Yeah, I already did that one yesterday. Yeah, I didn't, because he stole it from me, Jared. I did not steal it. It was mine to uh, do. No. Uh -huh. Jerk. Here, have some more paper. I need more paper. That's not paper, that's sugar cane. <laughs> I know, but you can make it into paper. Um, 
Anyway, let's see. Oh, I put those Ikorian blocks away. I meant to keep those. But I didn't have the inventory space for it. Um, I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. Um, don't use the stone brick pieces for your research. Oh. You could use the... You can use either cobblestone or the cookstone. I think the cobblestone... Cobblestone has two aspects, but the uh, stone only has one, so... But yeah. I want to actually have the stone brick that I've made. <laughs> Why? Because we're going to need it for building things. Nah. We're going to need it... For, we're gonna almost certainly going to need it for the roads, regardless of which option we end up with. So we're going to... We're going to show the server IP again and edit that out, <laughs> hopefully. And we're going to do a little bit of kind of use the Christmas-themed Zykorium blocks. Okay, maybe they're not intentionally Christmas-themed, but they're cool it's for Christmas that. It's Christmas and they're Christmas colors. They're Christmas-themed. Yeah, themed. exactly. Um, we're going to use these to kind of measure out some plot-like areas, I guess. Oh look, stone brick slabs. I could use them in my research. No. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, I want that one to be green. If for no other reason, then it helps mark this out better. We need more coal. Uh, go mining. I don't want to. Or I don't have a pickaxe anymore because he stole mine. Uh, there's materials for plenty of iron, and I think there's even enough for a gemmed one. Um, you could also go get some coal, or not some coal, but some um, some more clay and cook it up, and that way we could actually make a coke oven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, in order to cook it up, we need coal. Um, well, the idea is that we can, you know, actually get away from using the coal because coal is more valuable for other things. No, nope, that's not where that was supposed to go. There we go. So that is 30 wide. I don't know, what do you think? 30 by 30 plots? Sure. Let's see what this looks like. So where's Corey's house? Or Corey's mine? It, he's under the hillside there to the north. Okay. He's I'm hiding. Check and, I'm going to check and see if he's got anything in his chest. Geez. Yeah, I, th I don't know how easy it's going to be to find over there because um, it's buried in the mountain to avoid unwanted guests as in Great. zombies and things Great. Um, yeah, I think 30 by 30 is probably going to work might be too big though I don't know actually no that's not 30 by 30 that's 40 by <laughs> that's 40 wide right there and you're good at counting. <laughs> no, it's not the counting that's the problem, it's the math. Apparently I'm not good at math today. Are you ever? Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. I suppose you'd have to be for your job. Well, my job doesn't have a whole lot of math directly, but... Um, I actually am... I would consider myself to be pretty good at math, yes. Two, three, four, five. When I'm actually thinking. You, is that to say that you're not thinking at all? Not right now, apparently. Great. Just what we need. <laughs> Building without thinking. That'll work. That'll end well. Yeah. You sure you want to build? Not like me or something? <laughs> Let's see. I think that will work fine. That actually looks decent sized. 30 doesn't look nearly as horrendously huge. Did you find him, by the way? No. 
Oh. I am still searching. Let's see. We need this color. But I found a hole, so I'm going to build my way out. Is it like a great big huge deep hole? No, just a cave. Oh. Let's see. 170. That means the other side would be 140. And it's time to get inside. Because otherwise, we're going to have all sorts of nasty things running around. Oh, that's right. It's night. I'm on my way home, then. Um, or if you want to log off for just a moment, I'll sleep and make it day. Okay. Come on, hurry up. And it's morning now. Yay. What was that? Nothing. Sure sounded like something. Nope. Let's see, we're gonna do this. Well, whoever gets this uh, kind of front and center plot is gonna have a great big hole. <laughs> Actually, I think this is gonna end up being our, maybe like a community fountain or park or something. Okay. What about our home ash? You mean the uh, mountainside that we have right now? Yeah, that's why I said home ash, because it's not our home, it's just ish for now. Well, yeah, it's the temporary starting shelter. Uh, we'll my thought soon be moving out of. Yeah, my thought is that that's going to turn, that will turn that area into a uh, community factory. Okay. To make what? Well, for processing materials and all of that stuff. Okay, 176, that means... Oh my gosh! This thing has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 things in it right now. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if... Which... Which uh, thing are you researching? The Unified Thomic Field Theory. Oh, that's the end of Tier 1. Yeah. Let's so see. I'm almost done with tier one. Two oh six, I think. And in a creeper hole. And stuck in the leaves. Naturally. Oh, I've got a great way of getting rid of leaves, though. Shears? No, no. Way better. The sickle. Uh, sickle? Yeah. If you use a sickle on leaves, it makes a whole boatload of them just vanish. Sick. What kind of sickle? I've just got an iron one, iron one right now. How do you build them? Oh. Ow. And eat up. Finish chopping down this tree that was in my way. Iron sickle. Let's go test it out. Over here. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, found my new favorite tool. <laughs> I found out about that one from Slowpoke uh, yesterday. Yeah, he said something about Sickle. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. 
He goes in. Uh, well, um, let's see. I think it was on the development stream before they released. He goes and makes one and says, I think he was talking to Doc M at the time and goes, here's meet your new favorite tool. Pretty much. And then he enchanted one with uh, Silk Touch to try and see if it would uh, actually just drop all the leaf blocks. Oh, that would be nice. Right, so one side is of this is way higher than the other, of this hillside. That sounds like a personal problem. But the boundary is mapped out. I can't figure so, out what the other thing that I need to do is. What are you looking? Oh, for your theory. Unified thalamic theory, yeah. Let's look and see what's going on here. Oh, you got two of them that are still obscured. Yeah. I can't figure out what they are. Because um, everything that I've tried is already grayed out or maxed. Oh, that might be it. you have any more snowballs? <laughs> no, that was all I had. I can go get some more, though. Yes, please do. Um, arrows have some. Arrows? That's not... No. No, but it still had something. No. <sighs> no. Oh, somebody went to the nether? No. There was a glowstone in the uh, village. Well, that gives fire. I already did oh, fire. Oh, we already have fire maxed, though. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Um... I don't have any more wood, otherwise I'd make more of those. Hang on. <laughs> Probably the least efficient use of wood ever. <laughs> Making crafting tables? Oh, uh, nope. Alright, well, we save that for later. Stick those in that. Let's see. What the hell is there? Tool. Try, try like a basic wooden tool or basic stone tool. Um, actually, let's see, not that. Uh, where's some gold? I don't think we have any. I thought we had... S Did we go through all of the gold in that? Wouldn't be surprised. Man, that's expensive. It's not like gold had a use. Well, it does, actually. It, you use it for golden uh, transport pipes and things like that. Yeah, but we have plenty of those. We had so many that you tried to burn them up. I didn't try burning those up. Yeah, you tried to throw these in the, throw them in the research <laughs> oh, I, thing. I stuck them in there to see what it would do. Yeah, and then I was like, wait, don't we need those later? <laughs> You're like, no, we have plenty of them for now. Well, for the moment, yes. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be the way that we do the plots, I think is going to work. I don't know how... We'll have to figure out who actually is going to get which plot and... Well, we have to figure out who's going to join the server. <laughs> well, yeah, there is that too. Um, I think I'm going to be getting art artwork soon. Um, I'm just trying to actually get a time when I can meet... When I can actually get the person that's working on the artwork onto the server to look around and get some screenshots that he wanted to get. Well, and, we don't really have much right now. Yeah, that's what I told him, but uh, he still wanted to look around and see what he could find. We got some decent landscapes to use for screenshots, though. And uh, he said he had an awesome logo for us, so... Okay. I can't wait to actually see that, and hopefully we'll be able to start doing some stuff with it soon. But we got a couple of the plots laid out using these nice Cyclorium blocks to kind of decorate the area at the same time. And please take a moment to leave comments on the what you think for the roadways. Um, I do kind of like that alternating path. Uh, path. Um, I don't know if the road is too wide, maybe. Maybe that's part of what's making it feel weird. Um, so we could possibly shrink that to either three tiles wide total 
three blocks wide total, or... What was that for? Nothing. Me? Um, but yeah, if you got ideas, then by all means... Dang it. What? I just can't figure out what these two things are. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you have ideas on how to how we should set up our roadways, um, leave comments, or you can also send it, uh, pictures of ideas via Twitter. Uh, we'll work fine as well. And yeah, let us know. And for now, have a great Christmas, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>